Good evening and thank you for joining us, for staying up with us for the slightly delayed beginning of the show. A cross-country adventure from Florida to Oregon has brought some out-of-town guests to Sioux Falls this weekend. There's no flying or driving involved along the way, but there is a reason behind the trek. Kelloland's Lauren Solick met up with them at St. Michael Parish today to find out just what has these people traveling coast to coast. It's a journey crossing 15 states and traveling almost 4,000 miles on a bike. My favorite part has been uh, seeing this country in, in, in a light I've not ever had a chance to see it before. Just looking at the, the beautiful scenery, the, the farmlands, and talking to people in towns. Karen DeJoe from Florida is one of eight people making that coast to coast trek. I have MS and I used to be uh, in a wheelchair, and I'm so grateful to be out and and to be able to complete this mission that, that I figured it, it was a wonderful way for me to, to give back. I, I'm grateful for where I am today and, and I feel like I want to just spread good news to the folks of, of this country. Fuller Center Housing is hosting the ride with a mission to help people dealing with poverty. Each rider must raise money to participate. They often receive donations along the way. And overall, all these rides are going to raise uh, close to $600,000 to go for builds of uh, new houses or uh, retrofits of houses for people who can't otherwise afford housing. This is the bike adventure's 14th year, and this summer it brought them through South Dakota. Along the way, they also help with house repairs or builds in towns that have Fuller Center partners. For me, the thing I like the most is working on the builds because these are people who wouldn't otherwise have a house remodeled or a, or a house built. We've done new constructions even. Uh, just just the, the faces of these people who are so thankful for us for all the hard work we do. Because in the end, when you provide housing for people, you, you um, make their health care better, their health status better, and I'm a physician, so that means a lot to me, but we lower crime, we, we raise the infrastructure in cities and in neighborhoods, um, and it, it, there's just pluses all around. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. The cyclists stay in churches along the way. They'll stay in Sioux Falls tomorrow for the 4th of July and then spend next week biking across the state. Fuller Center Housing is a Georgia-based organization, and you can learn more about them and their different bike adventures by following a link in this report from Lauren on Kelloland.com.